What's up, it's Brandon from Tattooing 101, and today we're going to go over a review of some new, improved, possibly stencil paper. So this is Clear Cut Stencils Transparent Therma Transfer Paper. And I've been hearing a ton of stuff on this online, and I wanted to check it out for myself and do a review for you guys to see if it's worth it. I know that this is definitely more expensive than the stencil paper that everyone have been using for countless years. That works great, I've never had issues with it. So let's try out something new and different. As tattooing, technology is always changing, so it's important to stay up to date on all of the new stuff coming out. So let's get into it. So first, let's check out the packaging. I'm gonna open it up and see what comes inside. So here, you can see that you get all of the transfers right here, and it took me a little bit to try to figure this out. I went through a couple sheets of it, messing it up, and trying to understand how to actually do it. You can see on the back that it does come with a scan code if you want to look up and be able to see exactly how to use it. But everyone on here knows me and I just like to figure it out on my own. So here, there'll be a front piece of paper, your actual transfer, and then there'll be this clear piece right here. So this is different than actual regular Thermofax where you just pull the onion paper out put the stencil in and you're ready to go. This one, you actually have to take this piece out right here, which is a little painstaking because you don't want it to crumble up. And then you have to lay it in front of this section. And then you could put this over top of it. And then on the bottom, this is where your design goes. So you could lay this in here. So that's the biggest thing I was messing up on. I was using it like it was actual, the regular stencil paper, and you have to move this clear piece to the front in order for it to work. So that is how you set it up. Let's move over to the one I've already done and check it out. So right here you can see the stencil is on this clear sheet right here. Now this could be a little bit hard to mess with because with the onion paper it stays you know true with this is really kind of clingy kind of like when you're using saran wrap so it's a little bit hard to keep up with and we're going to try it out on an actual client and see how it works but as you can see here i'll move this stuff the stencil looks nice and clear doesn't look like it had any issues at all transferring which is nice to see. So let's try it out and see how it works actually making the stencil transfer. So for the stencil, I have them all shaved up, alcohol down, ready to put the stencil on. Now one thing with this is you wanna make sure you know what side you put the stencil on because it's pretty impossible to see what side it is after it's printed and cutting it was definitely tricky. I didn't put that on video because I was fumbling around trying to cut it out for a couple minutes. So with that, I know I printed it off this way, so I know that's how it's going to be put onto the skin. Okay, now we can place the stencil. Hershey. So it looks like it's bleeding quite a bit underneath it. So I don't really have an issue with regular stencil paper doing that. But it made an okay stencil. You know, with actual stencil paper, you could kind of wrap it around and move it. You could see on this side that I double lined a little bit just because of the way that stencil is how it doesn't wrap around, but for smaller designs, I feel like this would work really good. Now we're going to wait about 15 minutes and see 
how it actually works after drying. I'm gonna try to wipe it down with alcohol, see how good it stays from there. So we'll wait 15 minutes, see how good it dries. With this stuff as well, the stencil doesn't seem to smear on the actual paper. So I feel like you'd be able to do a couple stencils with this if you mess up and need to move it. Um, so that's one thing to think about as well. It looks like it'll actually hold up to be able to do another one, which sometimes actual stencil paper that we use, um, it has an issue with smearing every time you put it on and it's hard to use, you know, after about two or three times. But this actually holds up pretty well to be able to do it a couple times. All right, so we waited 15 minutes and now we could rub this down and see if it'll rub off easily. Well, you can see it's already smearing a little bit, but let's just see. So any stencil you put on will rub off during the tattooing process. That's why I always dab when I'm doing lines. But as you can see here, it's taking some, you know, abuse from rubbing it down with the soap and you can still clearly see where all the lines are. Let's rub it down with some alcohol and see how it holds up to that. So alcohol is taking it out quite a bit. And I normally would not wipe this much during an actual tattoo, but as you can still see, even though it's really faint, you can still see all of the lines that you need to do. So it actually held up pretty well during the wiping process as my client sees here, he'll probably have this for a couple showers before it completely wipes away. So with that being said, it works about the same as the other stencil paper. It's a little bit harder to use, you know, just placing it down. The spirit stencil paper is really easy. You just slap it down with that. You kind of have to move it around and try to figure out exactly how to lay it just because it's so thin and it's kind of like saran wrap to where it just wants to stick to everything. But as a whole, it made a good stencil. This is pretty much marketed for being able to fit into little places. Like if you were wanting to do a tattoo right here and you have tattoos in the background, it's hard to see with the spirit stuff um, to know exactly where the other tattoos are. So with this clear stuff, you'd be able to fit in this area very easily. And it does make a perfect stencil. So if you're looking to do little areas like this, it will be beneficial. It is more money. So I wouldn't use it for every single tattoo you're doing but for something like this, it might be beneficial for you. So for the actual stencil process, I went really, really light with the actual stencil primer. I used Anchored because for any of my really small kind of detailed stencils, I use this stuff, it works really well. I usually use Green Glide for thicker things and this worked out great for it. I am confident saying that if you went too heavy with this type of stencil paper with your actual green glide or something like that, it would probably smear a lot. But it worked great if you're doing super light, just waiting for it to get tacky and put it on. And if you're looking to, you know, get into an area that's a little bit tricky with the actual other spirit stencil paper, Clear Cut Stencils is their name if you wanted to try it out. So I want to broaden my horizon for the channel of all the reviews that I do. So if you have anything in mind that you would like me to check out and review, make sure you leave a comment down below so I can check them out and do some more reviews for you guys so I can try them out and give you my honest opinion before you have to buy them. And as always, thank you guys so much for watching and have a wonderful day.